When we actually started working with Amlan on the ground in Calcutta, we realized that the kernel of what he's doing with children was so powerful that we began to think about what we could do in the digital space to capitalize on that. He's created these groups of health minders. They're called Dakabuko, which means daredevil in, in Bengali. They're mapping their community and then identifying what they want to change. And then they're going out door to door and actually educating people and trying to make that change. We realized that they were starting this new project of community mapping and a light bulb went off in our head about what would happen if we were able to somehow add technology to that mapping idea. When we were in Calcutta, I showed them that in the map there was nothing. There was practically nothing. There were just the invisible people. In a place like this where people don't even have an address, nobody really knows who lives where. If a fire or something breaks out, you can't go back and say who's missing. So they have, you know, drawn on their own hands their community map and their focus is on tracing the water sources, tracing the garbage beans. Who lives where, how many children are in what family, and what children need to be immunized. That's work that they've already been doing, but now they actually can plot it on a physical map. It's plug and play. So you can use Google Maps on top of your custom code. We're creating this web-based tool called Map Your World. The structure of it is map it, track it, change it, share it. So the first part, mapping it, is the kids would map their own community, which means not only are they looking at the positive things they have, looking at the assets, but they're also identifying the problem and what they want to change. The second part is track it, so they identify the problem they want to change and they would be able to use text messaging to report incidences, and that would go into a central database that could then create reports. Most of the children have internet access. They don't have food or they don't have a proper bathroom or washroom, but they have mobile in their hands. It's a mobile mania in, in India. So they are tracking the trash and seeing that a man who is responsible to pick up this trash from the government is or coming on a regular basis or not. The kids decide what issue they want to take on and improve in their community. And what he's been doing in the past is then putting it into sort of an artistic realm. He'll either put on puppet shows or theater. Then he often brings in the press to shame the government to try to make change. But the technological piece that we've been able to add to this that actually creates numerical data around what he's been doing, I think completely changes it and takes it really to a whole other level. Because then the data really does become political and you can print out a report that shows there actually is no trash pickup except for during the election times. A really important part of the project is that they'll also be able to share their story with other kids around the world. Because I never see that, okay, he's a child, what can he do? No, never that. He can change the world.